guys, it's Linda Winter with another Winter Designs Big November giveaway. This is a big month of giveaways. This is giveaway number two. I have four giveaways that I'm going to be doing this month. If you followed me already, you know I've done this in December. This is now November. So if you're my winner, you'll get this prize before Christmas so you can actually put some of these goodies to use. I've got all these goodies on this table that I'm going to be giving away. This week it's called Getting Crafty. Getting crafty with me means if you're a sewer, quilter, crafter, or embroiderer, you're going to find something in here that you will love. So it's not just for you crafty ones out there. If you're a quilter, you're going to love some of the tools. So we're going to take a closer look at some of the things that I've got here. First, I want to talk about Martelli's turntable, one of my favorite bundles. The base, the cutting top, the iron top, a ruler. I'm going to pull over a rotary cutter in just a minute, or three, because I'm giving you all three. But let's talk about it for just a second. I have a 20 minute or so video on the base. This has a velvety surface that grabs the base. This cutting top here that's gonna grab here and an ironing top. The four by 16 ruler, my unsung hero, I love this because that get a grip material, those of you that know the get a grip, know you don't need to see through the ruler. If you're new here, go watch my other videos. I've got videos on a lot of what you're gonna be seeing here. You do not need to see through a ruler because this ruler grabs. So four by 16 ruler works beautifully with this. It works great with your um, smaller mats, your other turntables, your other large mats, whatever it is. So I'm gonna be giving you that bundle as well. The ironing top, super for ironing. We're not pressing here. We're pressing here or we're pressing on the table with this yellow because this surface we've changed and it will bubble up on this cutting mat. I want to move this out of the way for a second and talk about the rotary cutters. I'm going to be giving you a 45 millimeter and a 60 millimeter and a 28 millimeter. Now I'm a lefty, so I've got left handed cutters over here. I'm going to have Rosa pan over here in front so you can see there's a right handed rotary cutter that's a, four, a 28 millimeter, there's a right handed 45 millimeter, and there's a left handed 60 millimeter. I've got a two pack of blades and a blade tin for you to store your blades in. I've got a five pack of blades and a blade tin for you to store your blades in. I've got a 10 pack of blades for you to, and a blade tin for you to store your blades in. So you'll get all three of those rotary cutters. Why? Because when you're working on the turntable, the 45 millimeter and the 28 millimeter, they're gonna work great on here. The 60 millimeter and the 45 millimeter and the 28 millimeter when you're working on a mat. These guys are perfect for all those projects that you're doing. If you're gonna be buying one of the rotary cutters, just for those of you that don't know, I'm gonna be offering whatever you see here on the table that I have on my website, you get a 25% discount during this giveaway. So if you end up buying a cutter, buy the 45 millimeter. This guy here is just perfect for almost every single thing you do. But when we're doing curves, this guy here is the one I'm gonna use. When we're doing big projects, those of you that are sewers and you do upholstery and all those heavier duty fabrics, this guy is great for that too. I wanna to talk for a minute about the 28 millimeter because some of you might not know. This one you don't roll forward. What we're gonna do is bring the guard back and I've got videos that'll show you this but there's a locked and an open and you can see that's quite a bit of blade that's showing there when we cut we're going to use our pointer finger to turn whether I'm doing big curves or small curves I don't want to do this I don't know if you can see my hands at an angle I think about riding a bike I don't turn my handlebars and my body to take a curve if I'm riding a bike. I'm gonna be turning my pointer finger, which is the handlebar. So a big curve, small curves, this rotary cutter I'm gonna be turning here. And when I'm cutting, I'm not cutting here. I'm gonna have her zoom back a little bit and I wanna show you, I'm not in front of me, I'm in front of my shoulder. When we're cutting, we're cutting here. So I've got videos on the 28 millimeter, but I just wanted to make sure you all understood. This is a little bit different. We're gonna bring the guard back. All of our other rotary cutters, you just roll forward and it clicks open and we flick it closed. So I'm gonna be giving you those three rotary cutters, the base, the cutting top, the ironing top, the four by 16 ruler. I'm gonna get this out of the way so I can pull some other things over. I've got a big bag back here. I didn't make space for that. I've got a big bag back here that's gonna have all your goodies, but this one is great for you to uh, carry your turntable in. So if you're a quilter, then you know half square triangles and how they're the basis of so many quilts. This has a three inch finish, a four inch finish, and a six inch finish. I call it one and done. I don't need that other little ruler. When I go to cut and I have my sewing marks, we're gonna mark and mark in here. Those guys there are my stitch lines. So watch the two videos we have on that. Charms, again, if you're a quilter, you know charms, they're five inch blocks. If you're not a quilter or you're a sewer or a crafter, you'll use five inch for a lot of things too. So these are great as well. 
I'm gonna stick those in the bag. Let's get this on the floor. I've got a really cool iron. This little guy here that works beautifully on that iron top as well. This one, if you're doing any plastics, if you're doing any um, synthetic fabrics, this works really well to sa seal those as well. We'll talk about the safety in a minute, and I've got a tool here that allows you to iron and not worry about any of those issues. So that's a cool iron too. A couple other get a grip materials that I have for you. A ruler that's a 2x12. This is Martelli's 2x12. Last week I gave away my 2x14. My 2x14 had markings on it. The 2x12 doesn't have markings. Put this on a mat and just draw a line, draw a line, draw a line. 1 to 11, because 12 would be over here. Turn the ruler around, put your markings. When you have your inch mark and your inch mark, write the number 1 here. When you have your inch mark and your inch mark, write the number 2 here. Uh, metallic Sharpie works really well, and a fine point works really well. So that's a really cool ruler for you to use a bunch or do a bunch of stuff with. This is a two and a half by four and a half with a fussy cut frame. Fussy cut frames, that charm came with the fussy cut frame too, that lets you frame out. So if I have a frog, a dog, a bear, or a toad, something you want to put right in the center, we're going to do that. That means hankies and embroidery designs too. Those of you that know about our foot pedal, this is amazing. If you don't know about it, you want to buy one. Whether you win this or not, you want one. You want one of these for every one of your sewing machines, your sergers, your embroidery machines, anything with a foot pedal on the floor. This has the get a grip on the front that's going to grab the foot pedal and the get a grip on the back. People rave about that guy there. If you already have some rulers that you love, some templates that you love, I'm giving you two sheets of our Get a Grip material that you can glue on. So you've got two sheets, you can make your favorite rulers already, Get a Grip um, ready to go. This is an iron on and it's Hope. This would be really great for Christmas. I hope we have peace on earth. Wow, what a wish. That right there, you can do all kinds of goodies with. If you saw my video last week, you saw my crazy cat, and I guess I am officially a crazy cat lady. This is a little iron-on fusible. Here's a sewing machine, so you can iron these on. These are great to put on zipper cases and little bags and all kinds of things. If you're going to a show and you want to make a name badge, then these are great on there, too, to kind of just state who you are. If you're a cat lady, terrific. I don't have any crazy dog ladies. I don't know. It's just crazy cat ladies. Rosa, who's my videographer, she's a crazy dog lady. If you're not into doing any detail work, any time, I don't have time to do anything, I've given you some iron-ons or so on. So I'm not sure if these are iron-on or not. But anyway, some little kid stuff. These are cute for little girls and maybe even the super babe and the peace sign might be good for a boy. These also are some of these sew-on kinds of things. So you don't even have to do any embroidery here. For Halloween, I bought several of these, the little kitty, but this is good all throughout the year. If you're making mug rugs, here's some mug rugs. This is Bozel's. They've got this um, shape stuff in here. It's nice and stiff. I think they're, um, I was going to say three. There's four in here. So you can make mug rugs too. I have a mug rug template that's a seven by nine. That's great. And you can put those inside of there too. A stencil. If you're a crafter, you already know what to do with that. If you're not a crafter, I've given you a couple of things that you can get crafty with. I've given you some nice gold kind of metallic um, paint. And this is a really cool rubber stamp, but not rubber. It's wood. So you can paint this on. Use a sponge from your kitchen if you want to. Same thing with these little guys. You've got a pineapple fruit with glasses. We've got cherries that are hearts. And then we've got a diamond heart kind of thing. So you've got some crafty stuff in there too. If you put, always lose your tools, I've got some really cool, cool tools for you. You always lose them. This has a little clip on, so you can clip it onto your clothing, and it has one of those that you pull. This is M for Martelli. You can adhere one of your, um, or put one of your scissors or your tweezers or whatever on there. At your sewing machine, at your serger, at your long arm, this is magnetic, and you've got two carabiners. These have those clips, so you can take your scissors on and off. I'm forever losing my favorite scissors, so this will hold those in place for you. Okay. I've been pointing to these, so scissors. These are Martelli's precision scissors. To me, these are go-tos. These are so great, and there's something in there. They are so great, probably cat hair, who knows. Anyway, the embroidery scissors are super sharp. We're gonna use them for a thousand other things. The surgical, um, the, the snippets, these have a curved tip up and a curved tip down, depending on how I hold those. I have a video on that. We're gonna film another one in just a few minutes too. I've got three types of tweezers for you. The 
Ergo tweezers, these where the cushion is, there's no metal. So they're very easy on your fingers, no fatigue. This straight edge that I love here, use it to press open a seam. With these, I love these when I'm wide awake and alert, this nice sharp point, I can grab a thread, but when I'm not wide awake and alert, I can grab threads. I just turn that upside down and use this flat edge to grab, 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 and then use those snip scissors to snip, snip, snip. Here are some uh, curved tweezers as well. Both of these are great if you have a serger, if you're doing embellishing, if you're doing any beading, if you're doing any of those crystals, all of those fun embellishments. So you're getting one of those as well. My surgical seam ripper, love, love, love this guy, but some of you have said, oh, I'm not comfortable with it, there's no guard, so I've given you Havels. Havels is wonderful, it's more expensive than mine is. This has a cover and you get additional blades, but both of these are super sharp, so if you're clumsy, pass these on to someone else. But these are well worth using because they're just gonna rip everything that you need. In the front, I've got Martelli's Sewmate, S-E-W, Sewmate. It kind of started from Marsha Martelli's mother, Alta. Hi, Alta out there. She invented the sixth finger. You guys, I bought part of what was left over from her business, and I sold out of all of these, and I found one when we were going through all my stuff cleaning up. This here goes along with these two workbooks. She has written two workbooks for you, Machine Ribbon Embroidery, and this is a downloadable as well if you don't want to get the book, but you can see she's written all kinds of projects and directions. And if you're into Sunbonnet Sue, she's given you Sunbonnet Sue, and there's a little template that comes with this and a DVD as well. So the sixth finger, this I think is my very last one. You might be able to find it online somewhere. I don't know if it's her original one. Her original one really holds up. I've heard about some of them that are available elsewhere that are kind of two parts and they fall apart, so I like the original. This here, I bought this, and I haven't used it. I'm going to give it to you guys, so whoever wins, you got to let me know if you like this. This is a fabric glue pen. It's two parts here. I'm not even sure if that's glue inside, but again, instead of me playing with it, I'm going to let you all play with it, whoever is the winner. These guys, these green scissors that look like kid scissors, they are not dull scissors. These are sharp scissors. They have measurements on the side. And there's also this little clip. So if you want to be a sewing nerd, you clip it on your pocket. I'm going to give you those. So when you're doing any rag quilts or anything where you need to measure, cut to the whatever the measurement is. And you can put a piece of, or a little fingernail, um, kind of a dot on there and peel it off afterwards. So instead of having to look closely at those numbers, put a dot on the two and then you snip to the dot, snip to the dot, snip to the dot. But these are really good and they're really sharp. Those are called measure cuts. We're gonna stick that in there. Magnetic bowl, this is not the Harbor Freight version. This one is a really nice one. It's a really strong magnetic bowl. You can put all kinds of goodies in there. Y'all already saw me talk about these, but you're getting the three sizes of rotary cutters. You're getting a pack of blades for each and you're getting a blade tin for each of those. So all of those, I've got videos that'll show you how to use those. If you've had trouble with the rotary cutter, your cutter's dirty most likely, or you're holding it incorrectly. So go watch my videos. Martelli makes zip guns and I love the zip guns. Lauren Large, medium, small, eight clips already in each, and there's 20 additional clips that I'm giving you. Zip guns look like this, and we're gonna grab. Notice what I'm doing here, grabbing the fabric. Instead of putting my hand like that and pushing, we're gonna straddle the gun. You can see my pointer finger and thumb, and we grab and we grab. These clips are reusable. When we pull them off, don't pull them off straight. Pull them down like you so they come off easily. So we're pulling towards us and we're sticking them right back in. There's an opening end and then there's a place where the clips come out. We're gonna put it in the opposite end of where the clips come out. So those guys there, you're gonna get all three sizes of the zip guns. My video on that is called Everyday All The Time Tools. I'm talking about the zip guns and that seam ripper, the one that's the surgical seam ripper that I pulled in there, the sew mate. So those are in there as well. We're gonna come in here and I wanna show the chalk pencil. I've got a chalk pencil that I've given you. I bought chalk pen pencils over the years. The problem with chalk pencils is where is the sharpener when you need it? Regular sharpeners don't work. So even if I find one that does work for chalk, where is it when I need it? This one has a built-in sharpener right here. We're gonna add the chalk down here, unscrew this. I'll do a video on it in a few minutes, but we're gonna sharpen here. This guy comes with a red, white, blue, and yellow chalk. And then I'm also giving you um, more chalks of each of those four colors. So we've got that for you as well. If you're a crafter, then you already know making the little lanyards and the key um, chains and all those kinds of things are a lot of fun. So I've included one of those in there for you. 
This I talk about in my videos for doing my measuring, um, the measuring for the microwave bowl cozies. This is just great for all kinds of things, that little guard, the little guide that's there. I've given you a crochet hook, why? Well, because I've given you some yarns here, but I've given you a crochet hook because this is great to pu push out all those corners. When you're turning anything, instead of using your scissors or sharp stiletto, use this and it kind of pokes out those corners, but it doesn't poke a hole in the corners. Let's look at the yarns for a minute and you notice the case that I'm gonna be giving you. I've given you this really cool carrier to put all your goodies in. But these guys here, this and this and this, these you're not going to use a crochet hook on these you'll use your fingers if you haven't done any of the finger crochets this has enough to make a scarf like this this has enough to make a scarf like this and same with this so you've got one of those each and then i've given you a couple of yarns these guys here they're not enough to do a whole lot except maybe learn on so you've got those so i'm going to be giving you those as well i've got a couple books and magazines i love looking for inspiration so i've given you Y'all probably have seen these before, but maybe taken, not taken the time to make these, but I've given you a book that gives you all these great flowers and all these projects and instructions. If you do crochet, terrific. Here are some ideas for kids. These are for kids. If you don't crochet, this book has some really great projects for you to do for kids. And if you are um, having a kid in your life, for the holidays especially, this is a good time to sit down and teach them the craft. So a fun thing to do. Same thing with this. If you're a crafter, then you may be dealing with making cookies and cakes and all kinds of things. But here are some fun projects that you can make over the holidays. And again, they're great to do with kids. Some of my favorite magazines, cloth, paper, scissors, they're not even in business anymore. So this is one of the last editions I'm gonna be giving you. McCall's Quick Quilts, this is their recent version. The um, Creative Machine Embroidery, their latest version. And Quilting Arts, their latest version. So I'm giving you all of those. So you've got all those in there. Let's look at what else we've got on the table. Bone Ash. Some of you know Bone Ash, some of you don't. If you don't know Bone Ash, they've been around forever. This used to be called 007 powder. This powder is like the iron-on, like the fusibles, but you sprinkle this on, and it's so cool. You'll have to go watch the videos. Here are some instructions on it. You'll need one of these pressing sheets to put in between your iron and your surface. So we're gonna be having this. Powder goes on, you'll see in the video. If you've ever messed up your iron, you know how much fun that is. So we're gonna be cleaning it with this guy here. So I've given you a few of the Bone Ash products as well. Of course, I've got some candies and goodies and cakes and those kinds of things. And <laughs> Rosie's picking up. <laughs> This is what it's like to film. We're not re-filming this, so you guys get. This is the way Sorry, it goes guys. here. <laughs> no, it was me, I dropped it. So cowtails, somebody already said posted cowtails. Yeah, those are great. Some Twix, some little truffles, some Hershey Kisses. These are, I think, the same that I gave away last time. Caramel, I've got some Nutter Butter Bites. I've got some peppermint sticks. Those are always fun to kind of snack on. And then some cookies. So you got some things to snack on as well. I've given you some ribbon that looks like some tape measures. I've given you a real tape measure. Uh, if you've done my um, owl taggy toy, here's some owl eyes that are really great, but they're just great buttons for all kinds of goodies. Here's a little magnetic thing that you can put on your fridge and just kind of get you inspired. Some confetti if you want to make a mess or you want to have somebody put that, put it in an envelope and have them make a mess. Some pins if you don't have time to do anything but to pin a button on a package as a gift or put a button on your jacket to wear. So those are there. A hundred yards of silk ribbon, so that's huge. So a hundred yards of black ribbon that you have there. If you're a Martelli um, owner, then you know our rotary cutter. Here's a rotary cutter pin. Those guys are hard to find these days. And again, if you're a Martelli fan club, we've made you a Martelli fan club member. Okay, I think I have shown you everything. So how do I enter? So right here on my Facebook, go uh, right here on my YouTube video, go down below and add a comment. If you don't have a YouTube account, I think it's through Google, then you probably can't add a comment. So if you wanna add a comment, that gives you one entry. If you're having problems with that, just go Google, how do I add a comment on YouTube? So some of you have availability to that and some of you don't. I think the way you do it is to, again, set up an account, log in. If you log in and subscribe to my YouTube, every time I post a new video, you're going to get a Linda Videos. That's my YouTube. Linda Videos has posted another video. You won't have to go look 
looking for my videos. Currently I have 147. This will make 148. So I've got lots of videos out there in playlists. Playlists are categories. There's categories like rotary cutters, our workstation, that's at Martelli table, all kinds of stuff. I have a category called giveaways. That's where this video is going to be. So go look for it there. So enter on my YouTube, enter on my Facebook, winner, opposite of loser, winner designs for sewing and quilting. On Facebook, there's a bunch of things you need to do if you haven't done it. And a bunch of you that entered last week when I went to draw names, several of you when I drew names, you hadn't liked me. It has to be liked. L-I-K-E-D at the top. If you don't see that on your page, if you see like, you have not liked my page and I'm not gonna pick you. I am stuck at the under 3,000 likes. Why am I doing the giveaway? It's bribery, I want more likes. In the social media world, me having lots of likes gets my information out there. I work for Martelli full time as their educator, but I also created my own line of templates, Winner Designs. And I basically am trying to get, to get you guys to know more about me. So like my Winner Designs for Sewing and Quilting page. When you've done that, look for the post, time for another giveaway. Each of my four giveaways this month will start with time for another giveaway. As soon as you find that post, right away underneath it, add a comment. Pick me, I wanna win. You don't even have to watch the video yet. Add a comment. Then click, you'll see a link to the video. Click on that and you'll go to this video. It'll launch you in there. So on Facebook, like my page and then add a comment. Next thing to get an extra drawing, there's a share button right underneath this post. Share this video. If you share it with your family, friends, anybody on Facebook that you know, that's gonna show up on my feed and you'll get another drawing point. Lots of you did that last week. That earned you some extra points. So that's kind of a cool thing. If you do Instagram, if you do Twitter, I don't. Several of you have said I followed you on Instagram. I really haven't done anything there a whole lot other than just go look. But if you do Instagram, if you do Pinterest, if you do Twitter and you talk about me, you share winner, opposite of loser, winner designs for sewing and quilting and my YouTube channel, Linda Videos, one word, no space. If you share that and then you come back to Facebook and you tell me, that earns you an extra drawing. One for Twitter, one for Pinterest, one for Etsy. If you tell your guild about this, I had a couple people that did that last week. If you tell your guild about it, that gets you another drawing. If you share with your uh, local quilt shop or your sewing shop and you tell them about it, that gets you another drawing as well. I mentioned earlier I'm gonna do a 25% off on anything that I have here that's on my website. I'll be adding some of the projects or the products later on this week. I'm flying out to Tucson in just a couple hours and I just got home from Houston, so I'm running below behind. So when I post all of these things and I add them to my website, there'll be a 25% off coupon. If you see on my website, November, November is 25% off anything that's on sale this week. Next week, I'll have something new and those items that are in the giveaway, they'll be 25% off. I'm gonna keep the items that were from last week, 25% off, still at 25% off this week. And then I'll make the decision next week whether I'll do the same. If I'm gonna keep adding to, and you'll have a whole bunch of stuff at 25% off or not. So you can go find items on there as well. Uh, let's see, have I forgotten anything else? Spread the word, please. This is how I kind of make my living and how I share. And I thank you guys for being around and for being my customers and for just supporting me. I'm not a big social media person, but this is the way that I try to come back and say thank you for all that you have been doing for me. And that was a bunch of templates that I had underneath me and I just hit it. So ignore <laughs> that. But this is how it really is. I'm in my kitchen, not on my Martelli table because it's out in the studio and the studio has mold. So we're not working on there, we're working in my kitchen. And I talked Rosa into filming me this week. So thanks Rosa, thanks everybody for watching and good luck. If you have any questions, you can post here or you can post on Facebook. You can also send me an email, linda at winnerdesigns.com. And my phone number is 850-449-0259. And if I've talked fast, yes, I know. I've talked fast, I apologize, but there's a pause, there's a rewind. Go back and check out what I've done. You'll get to see something new each time you watch the video. 
and then you can be dreaming about these goodies. If you want to buy the goodies and then you win the goodies, I will give you something else in return for whatever it is you've already purchased. So don't feel like you have to hold off because you might win. If you want to buy any of this stuff, you're welcome to do so. And if you're my winner and you already own these goodies, then I'll give you something else in place. There's lots of stuff that I'm not selling, so lots of goodies here on here. Getting crafty with me. I hope you all have lots of fun and you're enjoying the beginning of the holiday season. Thanks for watching, guys.